Hey guys, it's Mike. With the anniversary of Apollo 13 coming up, I've been getting a lot of questions about how it happened, why it happened, and what happened. So, I thought I'd explain some stuff to you. Here's the Apollo spacecraft, the command and service module. We'll get to the lander in a minute. Now, we have the command module here. The little thrusters on the service module called the reaction control system. Now, this orients the spacecraft. Here's the main engine called the service propulsion system. Here's the high gain antenna. Okay. Now, this lunar module. Here. Now, as the Apollo spacecraft was heading towards the moon, okay, the oxygen tanks, there's, there's two oxygen tanks right here. Now, for some reason, the company that made the heater on the oxygen tank did not get the memo that the spacecraft was upgraded and so was not compatible with the rest of the spacecraft. The other reason was because the oxygen tank was dropped. It was originally for Apollo 10 and it was dropped. So it was a combination of things that went wrong. Anyway, this whole panel blew off, as you saw in the movie. And so they could not use the main engine. We would have been able to use the main engine and turn around and come back straight back home, but they couldn't do that because they didn't want to risk blowing everything up. So all they had was this little engine on the bottom of the uh, ascent stage here of the lunar module. The lunar module is, is separated by two stages, the ascent stage and the descent stage. So they had to use the descent engine. They used this engine a couple of times. They only showed it once in the movie, but they used it a couple of times. The only time that they showed it in the movie was the one time that they didn't have the computer. They had to... Anyway, they go behind the, the moon, right? It's called the free return trajectory. As they were approaching re-entry, they jettison the service module, okay, and then from the lunar module they took pictures of the damage of the uh, oxygen tanks. Right. Then they jettison the lunar module. Command module re-enters and splashes down. The reason that they took longer, they took about four and a half minutes or so to come through blackout. The reason it took so long was because they were shallow. Shallow, the angle was shallow. Okay. Anyway, I hope that, hope that answers your questions. If you have any more questions, let me know, and I'll see if I can try to adjust them as best as I can. All wings prepare to attack. Drogue 3, I am in command, not you. You second-hand scrap metal droid. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Your mother was a toaster.